Well, we've learned about mixed fractions. We've learned about their conversion into improper fractions. Now let us also see how do you represent a mixed fraction on a number line. Right? So let us say you were told to represent let's say for example 3 6 upon 7 on a number line and let us say another case we take 3 or why, why 3 let, let me take a different number here let's take maybe uh, 2 4 by 5 on a number line so let's first take about this one This line might not be a little, I mean, completely straight. Just bear with me for that. So a number line is something like this, which will have all these numbers. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, when you have to represent particular numbers on a number line, what do you do? You will first find out that in case of a mixed fraction what is the whole number okay so find out find whole number and locate it on the number line so the whole number that we have in this case is 3 and if I go back to the number line what I notice that 3 is at this place right now because 3 6 by 7 3 6 by 7 is what it is 3 plus 6 by 7 this is what we learned in the previous video so obviously the number has to lie on the right hand side of the number line right hand side of 3 because this is number is greater than 3 so this number in this case has to lie on this side but this number obviously is less than 4 right because 6 is less than 7 so when you divide 6 by 7 you will get something which is less than 1 right so in such cases what you do is once you have located the whole number on the number line you see what is the denominator okay in this case the denominator is 7 so what you will do is that between the two whole number the one that is given and the next whole number divide this area into as many equal parts as is the denominator so let's divide between 3 and 4 we divide this into 7 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now I mean it's not exactly equal but almost very close to that right once you have done that, then you locate what is the numerator here. Okay. So let's say the numerator is 6. So out of these 7 parts, you have to locate which is the 6th part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is where the 6th part is. So this point basically will represent 3, 6 upon 7. Why? Because this number is more than 3, it's less than 4. When 3 and 4, the area was divided into 7 equal parts, this was the part which was representing the 6th one. Right? Similarly, let's drop another number line to solve this equation. 0, 1, sorry. In this case, what is the numerator? The numerator, or actually the whole number is 2. So this number that we are looking for has to lie after this point on the right side. Because this is 2 plus 4 by 5. What is the denominator? The denominator is 5. Hence, we will divide the distance between 2 and 3 into 5 equal parts. So let's say by 2, 3, 4, 5. You can also number these as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? 
The number that we are looking at is at the fourth position amongst these five. So if you see the fourth position is where? This is here. Hence 2 4 by 5 is basically this point. Right? So basically this is the way in which you kind of locate numbers on the number line. 